welcome to the Weekly Report. I'm Colleen Doctorian with the City Communications Office. Here are the top three things you should know this week. The City Council passed the FY21-22 budget, which includes $195 million from COVID relief funding. The earnings tax deadline has been extended to May 17th to coordinate with federal tax deadlines. And the city announced new neighborhood initiatives to clean up trash and litter across the city. The upcoming budget includes expanded snow operations and the launch of a new housing department. The mayor announced a new dollar house sale of land bank houses for low income residents. The mayor and city manager spoke about the new program at a press conference this week. We're really excited to be here today to announce some bold and transformative initiatives that are going to go a really long way to serve our most vulnerable families and our most vulnerable populations across the city. Uh, I'll just briefly touch on a couple of them that, that we're announcing today. One of them is our uh, uh, initiative to transform land bank properties into homes for those without homes, houses for those without houses, uh, and, and to rehabilitate long time blighted properties. So our plan is to sell uh, over 100 different vacant and abandoned homes for a dollar, provided that uh, the new property owners eliminate all blight from that property, uh, that they fully rehabilitate and renovate those properties, and that they make those properties available for anyone who is in need of housing and for those in the lowest income brackets uh, across our city. If you haven't filed your city earnings tax yet this year, it's not too late. The council passed an ordinance to extend the date to May 17th to coordinate with the federal tax filing deadline. The mayor and city leaders reminded residents how they can report illegal dumping and how they can get involved in community efforts to reduce litter in their neighborhoods. Today we're once again talking about trash. It is not lost on us that there has been, during the pandemic, a new abundance of trash. Some have described it on the highways and neighborhoods and lots of places. Kansas City government is committed to making sure that we address issues relating to trash, not just in littering all around, but our bulky item pickup, other efforts working with MoDOT and so many more. One of the big things that I've been hearing about since I got here uh, only a few months ago is the cleanliness of the streets. Uh, quality of life issues are the number one priority for us right now. The Blue Bag Program provides blue bags at no cost to neighborhood groups and civic organizations who'd like to host cleanups in their neighborhoods. Blue bags are available at no cost and will be picked up on your regular trash day. You can receive blue bags from any of the city's can centers. Illegal dumping is a problem for all of us. The fight against blight is ours as a community. We're committed to support and fight the, the problem, but we need all of Kansas City engaged in making our community the best that it can be. For more information on the city's litter and trash efforts, go to kcmo.gov trash, and there you can find out how you can get blue bags for your neighborhood cleanups. Thanks for watching the Weekly Report. I'm Colleen Doctorian with the City Communications Office. Don't forget the spring leaf and brush schedule started this week and stay tuned for a great video about the city's NTDF program. Hello, Kansas City. I'm Rob Loya with the Neighborhood Tourist Development Fund here today at Grove Park in front of one of the many murals that's been supported by the Neighborhood Tourist Development Fund. NTDF is a program with Kansas City, Missouri that supports all activities throughout all the districts in Kansas City, while at the same time promoting Kansas City as a tourist destination. Good news. NTDF is now accepting applications for the second quarter of fiscal year 21 through 22. Please go to www.kcmontdf.org to apply. The second quarter deadline is now May 15th, 2021. This application cycle is for events that take place between August 2021 through April 30th, 2022. If you are a nonprofit organization, here are the qualifications. Be a not-for-profit neighborhood organization incorporated in the state of Missouri and located within city limits. Be in good standing with the state of Missouri and city of Kansas City, Missouri. Maintain a physical address within the city limits of Kansas City, Missouri. Maintain a registered agent address within the state of Missouri and demonstrate encouragement of a broad-based citizen input and participation in your activities. Eligible projects must be open to all Kansas City, Missouri residents, while also attracting visitors from outside the city limits. Please go to kcmo.gov slash ntdf for all information on the NTDF program. Also remember that all NTDF sponsored activities must adhere to the KCMO 
Health Department guidelines in regards to COVID-19. Please feel free to reach me at robert.loya at kcmo.org for any questions on the program, and I'm always happy to help. Spring is a new time for Kansas City. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. with the Public Works Department. This week, Solid Waste Cruise helped a young resident celebrate his birthday. Our cruise delivered a gift bag and toy trash truck to help him celebrate. Happy birthday. Um, today we had our Bonanza dog event, which was an Easter egg hunt for dogs. Those that attended got a little goodie bag with treats um, with a mini tote, so they were able to collect their eggs. We had a wonderful turnout. We had about 10 um, dog vendors that joined us, and it was just a really great event. All right, the number is seven. Here, yeah, we have a Hi, I'm at the Wagon Trails Dog Park. We went to the Easter egg hunt for the doggy. There was a lot of doggies and there was like some treats for the dogs and he had fun running around and meeting other puppies and eating food. We have more events coming up this summer and they're not just for your dogs. We have movies in the park. We also have Friday night concerts that will also be there. So if you want to follow along and attend our events, we have a Facebook page, North Kansas City Parks and Recreation, um, and we also have an Instagram if you want to follow us there as well, NKC Parks and Rec.